Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and I am the founder and creator of YAX. So today is a very special day because today is the one year birthday or one year anniversary of YAX. Because <clears throat> today is exactly one year ago that I received the very first prototype of YAX. And if you don't know what YAX is, then uh, YAX is an acronym for yet another cloud stacking software. And it's a mass page builder for Cloud stacks. And in this video, I will I will actually, I will show you how the first version looked and how the current version looks, and then I'll walk you through the entire process that I use when I'm building a cloud stack. So if you are interested in seeing what that is, then uh, just stick around. So so first of all, uh, let me explain what uh, what and why I and what uh, is a cloud link and why did I build the X well. Cloud links are, links are HTML websites that you upload to cloud hosting services like Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Wasabi, Google Cloud, Contabo, uh, you name it. There are a lot of them out there. And the reason that you want to do that is that when you're building an HTML website, you control the content, so it's topically relevant. You upload them to the cloud hosting, so they are powerful because they inherit a lot of power and they are do follow back links. So let me show you uh, just before I show you the first version of YAX. Let me search for, if I search for link building training and I go down to, I don't know where it is. I, oh, it's, it's, it's ranking here on page two. So, so this guy here, link building training is a, is it a one pager? I think it's a one pager that I built. Like I don't know when I built. I built it last year. One time last year I built it, and it's ranking on page two. So it's not ranking on page one. It's not in you know, it's not in the page one. It's not number one for link building training, but it is. You can find it at least. And uh, link building training, uh, link building training is a uh, search term that that has a lot of searches and uh, a lot of guys want to actually rank on them for the term link building training so if we can see here we see here brighton seo link fish media uh charles float jasper coursera tell on page one power blah, blah blah all these guys here dixon jones they all there uh, many of them are probably not necessarily trying to rank for link building training but I mean, Brighton SEO, they are trying to link, rank for link building training, you see here. So, so this is just, the reason that this is ranking is because it has power from the mother domain. So you can see here, it, it always does this mangoes. If you're using mangoes, this is my favorite tool. It always asks me to sign in, why does it do that? Can anyone tell me that? It's just so annoying. Uh, okay, I hope it works now. Hmm? Okay, so you can see that this website is situated at the domain duperranking.blog.core.windows.net. So this domain here, windows.net, this domain is super powerful. It has a domain authority of 93. And if I take a look, take a look at the this URL here that I'm looking at here, it has a page authority of 47. Citation flow 21 and trust flow 19 because I sent some, I don't remember, did I send some? I probably sent some script box or was it other links? I, I also sent a cloud link to this guy here or some cloud links. So I sent some do follow links to this guy to power it up because then it, it is in turn, this, this links back to my, uh, my target website for this keyword here. So, I mean, it's power. It contains the ranking power uh, and link building power, whatever that means. It's contextual because I decide what I, what kind of content I want to insert here. So it's contextual, it's, top, it's topically, topically relevant, and it's a do follow back link. This is a do follow back link. This is what we all want. We all want topically relevant, powerful do follow back links to our website because we know they still work. Surprise backlinks still work. So uh, that's the uh, that's the reason. So 
I found myself not building these cloud days because simply it was so time consuming. So I got started with the development team to build my first prototype, which I got one year ago and looks like this online HTML generator. So <laughs> this is version one of the X, uh, OA, OHG, if we're going to, you know, shorten it, OHG, OG. So original online HTML generator, this is what it looks like. So I had these input fields and you know number of pages header info company info keywords for you know keywords and content so and the very first website that i could generate looks like this a little bit of a simple website because it's not a lot of content it only comes in two comes in three so i mean this is an example website right but uh, but this is a website and so that's the basis it's the basis version when I got this version of one year ago, obviously I kept on developing on it and then uh, very quickly it, I got the idea to make it into a product and here we are today. So, so let's jump over to YAX. So let me show you what YAX is before I show you my SEO process with YAX. So this is what the backend looks like now. So one year ago and present time. So it's a little bit of a different, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a jump, so to speak. So what we have now in DX is a fully fledged web-based website generator and a content management system like WordPress. What does this mean? Well, it means, what, what, is, a, what is WordPress? WordPress is a piece of software yeah, where you generate your website and then you maintain the content. You could create new pages and edit it links and so on. And you can do exactly the same with YAX. And even now we have actually, in, we have integrated AI content generation into YAX. So as of today, OpenAI's DaVinci model is the most powerful model that we have, 21st of January, 2023. DaVinci model, that's what we have implemented along with a, with a couple of other tools. But DaVinci is of course the main you know, power of our AI generation. So uh, what we have is we have two modes now. We have the, uh, what you call the article forge mode where you enter a keyword and you make a title. So this is kind of like a, uh, you enter a keyword, how many pages do you want? And then uh, click generate and then our process and just generates your, your content, right? So this is completely like, like article forge. So this is a standalone content generation tool and besides that, we have our uh, AI generator, which a generate AI website. So it's a process where it has seven steps. And uh, the most important step is, of course, here where you define your own headlines, your own titles for your blog post or your you know, pages on your website, or you let the AI define the uh, headlines or blog posts, blog titles on your website. So just enter a keyword, link, building training, uh, one to 24 pages and then generate. And then you can, you get the titles, which you can then edit and then click generate. And then it builds out the entire website for you, complete with content, interlinking, pages, design and everything. Fully, uh, completely automated. And then you can upload it to the clouds which we have 14 of, we have Amazon, Azure, and Google Cloud, of course, but also Wasabi, Backblaze, Lino, DigitalOcean, Vulture, Bunny, CDN, Dreamhost, Oracle, IBM, NeoCities, and, oops, let me go back, NeoCities, and Contabo. So many of these are actually free or almost free. So it's a, uh, you know, this piece of software YAX and the, the idea of generating these HTML websites is actually a very good idea because, I mean, New Cities is free and these three guys up here are also basically free and some of these are also free. So it's super easy to generate um, HTML pages in your default backlinks to your website and that are just there. And the latest addition is uh, that you can use FTP to upload these HTML SEO optimized websites to your domain or expired domain. So what this means is that you can um, 
actually generate 50 AI articles, upload it to uh, to your domain, inspired domain, and it will rank, of course, if it's good content and it's relevant, so it will rank and it will generate traffic and it's uh, and you can use it for PBN or do for back, backlinks or whatever, or affiliate website, whatever you want to use it for. So, <clears throat> So yeah, so let, but, uh, let me take you through the original process because the original process looks like this. It has more steps, it has 12 steps. And this is the most advanced process because everything is customizable. And you start off by selecting your design, what you want it to look like. And uh, if you, these are the default colors and you just click some words. Here, so we can click preview. It's not so interesting to watch, you know, the preview when it looks like this. But you can always, you know, change the background color to whatever you want. Oops. Preview, and then it looks a little bit different. And if you want the footer to look, where's the footer? Footer background color. I want it to look like this. And yeah, so uh, so you can uh, I mean you can customize it to your own to your own liking, and we have these um, we have these modes here, and uh, so these are the link building modes or these are the builder modes, the build settings in EX. And if I click here, I can see what it looks like. So you have so this is actually a diagram of how of how the generated website will look like and the interlinking of the website. So if you select this guy, then um, all of the pages that you generate will actually be solitary. So what does this mean? Well, it means that if you're generating 100 pages and you insert a target URL, it will be like you generated 100 backlinks, solitary backlinks. They're not interlinked, they're not connected in any way because this is what you chose. And then uh, the standard classic link wheel looks like this. So this is the home page of the website and they're interlinked like this. And then you have the link wheel with spokes, which is currently my favorite actually, because it's totally super interlinked, top, down, up, left and right. You know, it's totally interlinked here. And uh, so this is what I like. So the home page has links, all the sub pages link up to the home page. And the sub page is also interlinked like this. So that's my favorite. Then we have the uh, umbrella, as I call it. You have the home page, and the sub pages link up to the home page, and then you have the basic stack. Looks like this. So uh, let me uh, let me time in. Uh, just uh, type in the website. One year, one year website. <laughs> one year website, and target URL is. Uh, what is the target URL? Let me go to Google. Uh, let me go to Google. So what I always do is when I when I'm building cloud links, I'm building cloud stacks. I always take care that the keyword I want to rank for here it is. So <clears throat> obviously, yesponism.com is is the main domain that I want to target. Uh, and then the uh, the keyword is link building training. So I always go to Google to check what page is it that's ranking because let's say I'm building a stack with link building training as the uh, target keyword. Uh, and if I if I take the target key, target URL to be the home page, then it's not the correct page. So you need to take care. You need to make sure that the target URL is the correct URL. So, uh, and in this case, it's this page uh, because I just found it on Google and it's, uh, it's, it's here. So this is the correct page in, in my case. So I'm going to jump over most of these settings because it will be too much, but uh, suffice it to say that you can determine, <coughs> determine your own interlinking methods here. Uh, do you want the links to be inside of the content area? you know, all the interlinking in the content that I told you up in the beginning. Do you want it to, to, to be a random? Do you want it to be in the H1, you know, in the 
header, top header of your page to want to, to be H2 below random content area. I just leave it. I'm just leaving it in the default mode that is below random content area. So it's still random. It's just not in the content. Uh, interlinking to all pages. I'll just say I want 10 prints on each page and I'll show you in just a second what that is doing. Do I want uh, site mapping content? I no, I don't. Uh, because I'm building a 100 page website and a sitemap, HTML sitemap in the home page when you're building 100 pages, it's, it's a little bit much. So page content settings, this is a relatively new addition uh, that uh, will the home page looks, looks in one way and the content pages, the sub pages look in another way. Uh, I prefer this model. So the home page is more, uh, it looks a little more like a home page, no more design features, but the sub page is just more basic, more simple. And uh, we have some, what do we have here? We have um, include all pages in navigation menu. So this just if we, so these are just, these are just uh, control options to how you want your website to look. How do you want your navigation navigation menu to look like? Uh, I'm just actually I you know, you know what? Let me just go to header because I, let, let me show you something. So I'm taking all of these keywords. I'm inserting them here in step number three, which is the meta title field. So. The meta title fields is special because this is actually determining the, <clears throat> the uh, SEO optimization for each page. So link building training is used many places. So this is the page title of the home page. It's the URL. It's the uh, H1. It's the uh, meta title page title H1 URL. And it's also used in the schema code. <clears throat> so it's used a lot of different places. So it's really, it's, it's, we take great care to make sure that the uh, pages are SEO optimized for that keyword. Uh, SEO, I'm just having SEO. If it was a real website, I would probably take care to either write a unique meta title for each page or, you know, make some, uh, make some spin text like, I don't know. I'm not doing it now, it takes too long. Uh, but let me, let me click preview, so I'm gonna show you here. So already now you can see that the, the navigation menu is built out, right? And you can see here up here in top menu, and you can see that we have these check our other pages. So this is the internal link building. So if you go back to build settings, so this is the interlinking to all pages. So it's the internal link building. And I really like this feature because it, it really, binds the pages together. Link building training is our homepage, is your training course and so on and so forth. <coughs> and it's random. So it's 10 different links on each sub page. So let me place on homepage, sub pages also, place on all sub pages. And I'm setting the max limit to 10. So, uh, yeah, so let's see here. That's it for that. So we have yeah some more pages. We do we want to include HTML sitemap. We do that automatically. XML sitemap. We do it automatically. Privacy policy about us page. It's also generated automatically. We also generate a lot of schema. We generate <coughs> sorry local business schema, product schema. Uh, product schema. We insert inserted on all pages. And I set the interval of the ratings, uh, let's say between four and five, number of ratings between three and 15. We also generate website schema. We also generate uh, robots.txt is also automatically generated and you can determine if you want to hide your cloud links from your competitors. So you can, I'm not going to do that, but you can do it. If you click these guys here, then uh, Yax will make uh, make sure or take take care to <clears throat> to actually insert the code lines in your robots.txt that will block 
all of these crawlers, so they will not crawl your cloud link. So your competitors will not be able to reverse engineer what it is that you are doing. So image SEO is a very advanced, a very interesting feature that we recently added to our YAX tool. So what is what it does is that it <clears throat> takes the images that you all around. Let me just let me just select some images, this guy and this guy, and oh sorry, this guy. No. Like this. No. Control, I need to click the control button. Oh my god. This guy and this guy and this guy, which actually which is this guy and uh uh, this here, and uh, let's see, it's not really website, it's not really link building training related, but it's, it's a nice picture. So, yeah, let me just. So now I, I just took five images and uh, they will then be added randomly on the sub pages because what I'm doing now is I, I've inserted now 100 meta tiles. So I'll, I'll create a 100 page website. So these images will be selected randomly. But if, if I click preview now, so you can see that the home page it says link building training. It says link building training, and it says link building training on the uh, on the image. And I'm not sure I like the pink color, so I'll just make it more light gray like this. Preview. Yeah, a little bit more to my liking. <clears throat> so so this is. Uh, this is a piece of software that we uh, that we programmed into YAX that will actually optimize the images like this, you know, for the OCR, the optical optical content recognition, or what it is, what's it's an abbreviation for, I don't remember, but but Google actually reads what you have here. And one, once this has been uploaded, then uh, this URL will be written out. And I can actually also so let me show you another thing. If you go to company information and type yes for listen, SEO, yell in at yesfornisten.com, my phone number, my city. If I click preview, so we actually see that the software actually adds these pieces of content on your image. And once this, and this is this is super duper. This is super duper powerful because once you've actually generated the website, what you can do is that you can download the website in the static HTML version, and then you can reuse these images because they've been uh, they've been SEO optimized. The file name has been changed to link building training. In this case, the file names has been changed. It's been optimized with the metadata, the EXIF data. It's been geotagged. So I mean. Uh, I don't know if you're still geotagging your images, but I am. Uh, I'm not doing it myself. I'm doing it because Yax is doing it for me. So what I can do is I can search for Jesper. Yes, and SEO maps. Uh, maps. And uh, here I am. So I can just take here this here. Copy. And click latitude and copy this here. And click longitude. Good. So now my images will be SEO optimized. And then um, <clears throat> I can also insert a description. Uh, let me grab the description from my website. So if I take this description here, and copy, and I'll just paste it into, you know, I'll just paste it into a notepad. So if there are any HTML codes, I don't bring those over. So what this will do is that uh, the latitude and longitude will be used in the schema code, and it will be used in geotagging images. The description will be used in the schema code also, but it will also be used in the about us page that's auto generated and it will also it will also be used in the uh, exit data optimization on all your images so i think this for me this is a very nifty little bit of feature <clears throat> and you know what i want to include my uh, i want to include the url
for my target page. What was the target page? This was the target URL. So let me just include that here. So you can see that the, so now this is the URL that would be featured and it will also be optimized in all of the images. So <clears throat> yes, so uh, there are a lot of fields that you can actually insert here into the company uh, information and make sure that you pick the correct um, kind of uh, company here in the schema code. And let me just see. I have a lot of fields that I can insert. Uh, do I have what's my what's the company contact contact? So if I insert this guy here, then I will get this contact us button. So it, it looks like a real website. You know what? Let me go back to build settings and let me let me make it a little bit more simple the navigation menu. I'll just change it to one menu item called services preview and then it looks like this so and let's insert a logo also shall we so it looks a little bit more like a real website browse go up logo I think it's a very small version of my logo so I'm not sure that it will look super duper nice no it will not uh, let me find another logo Another version. Hmm. Do, 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 graphic. Graphics. Graphic. No. This guy here. Oh no. Let's see what happens. Uh, which? Yeah, looks a little bit better. So now it looks. I think I'll, I'll ask my developer to to fix this the size of the logo in the image overlay anyway. But. Um, yeah, so there are a lot of company information. I won't fill it all, but you can see. You also have the opportunity to insert citations. And if you insert citations, they will be inserted into the schema code. So it's kind of like a nice trick, I think. And you can also determine if you want your citations to be inserted as links on your page. It will look like this, citations and other links. So this will be links to your citations, if you prefer that. It's very good in local SEO. So what I do in local SEO is I take the reviews from Google Maps. I go over here. I don't know if I have any reviews. I have I have a couple of reviews here, so I can uh, oops, I can share here. So I copy the link. So oops, like this, and I can take this here, share here, copy the link. So now I have two citations. So that's what I do when I'm building in CloudStack for local SEO. I'm placing the citations and on the homepage as links. And this, this is what it will look like. Um, so I, I'm seeing that Google, Google likes this. Google likes when, when you're building links to Google, so they like that. So uh, why not do it? Uh, so uh, keywords. So keywords is obviously important you need entities and we have made it easy for you when you're building a 100 page website uh, what i'm doing is i'm selecting keywords from a text file <clears throat> so let me show you what my text file looks like how to keyword file so this is my keyword file and i know that it has hundreds of keywords all related to link building as you can see so random keywords all related to link building what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this guy here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Presentation images. Keyword file. Mm -hmm. And open. And preview. So what it will then do the system is that the system will grab seven keywords, which in this case is random seven random keywords and it will insert as subheaders so this is an h2 i think this is an h2 or this is h3 i use all of the h you know h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 to make sure that we have the correct seo optimization uh, and we also include these jump links so this is built out automatically and uh, it's random keywords it's seven random keywords for each page 
So you're never repeating the same content. So when we're coming to the content, I could, I could do that, that I could insert some spin tags. Spin tag uh, looks like this. No, use Mentorprise or Spin Rewriter. Uh, but I'm not doing that. I prefer to <clears throat> actually, actually build in four different options so you can randomize. But what I'm doing is I'm selecting random number of sentences to combine into paragraphs. So let me show you what that looks like. First, let me show you my file. My content file looks like this. And uh, this was created with the help of Page Rewriter. I'm not doing using Page Rewriter anymore because now I'm using YAX content generation. Uh, but back when I made this file, I didn't have uh, YAX AI. So, uh, so I used back at the time Page Rewriter. Um, to, so this is what it looks like. A lot of random sentences all related to link building training. They're all related to link building and SEO. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the file, link building content, and I'm uploading. So now I, I have to determine the number of paragraphs in each content area. And let me show you what I mean. If I click preview now, then I have precisely three sentences in each content area. So the uh, amount of content in each content area is determined based on how large the sentence is. Let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> so uh, this is a relatively, oh, sorry. So this is a relatively large sentence. This is a smaller sentence, <coughs> relatively large, smaller, and this is very small and so on and so forth. So I think this is a little bit short in content, right? So what I do is I typically go from eight to 20. So what this look like. But when I'm building my websites, my cloud stacks like this, I actually determine, so, you know, but just by looking at it, does it look okay? Is it, is it, is it nice to watch? You know, does it look like a real website? And then I, I make sure to, and just delete some of these, close some of these tabs. So, <clears throat> does it look like a real website? Of course, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I need some images, right? So let me just take this guy here. Let me take this. Uh, and let me embed a website. No, let me embed a website. HTTPS. You know, and let me take the target URL. So this is the target URL. Let me embed that. And uh, let me see here. So yeah, it's beginning to more look more. I mean, you know, trees. It must uh, mean something to have green trees on a link building training website, right? So it's beginning to look like a real website. Uh, yeah, let, let me just stop there. So news, I could make some news articles. I don't want to do that because it, just, it takes a little bit of time. But, but the new system is something that we implemented because you can actually, you know, let me, let me import, let me import the news from my website. Uh, it's called feed. Let me see, let me see if you do the root. Uh, import. So now it should have imported, uh, at least it, it imports the titles at least. Preview. Uh, so you can see here I have the news item up here, right? So let me do like this. All right. So now I have some news articles. So now it's just, it just builds some news, news articles for me. So uh, it's it's nice. I think it's uh, it's nice. So let me go to my website again. Blog. Okay, so this is empty. Uh, but anyway, so this is just an example of you know what the uh, new site, uh, what the news system can do. So it's a basic, you know, it's kind of like a blog. 
And it's uh, the, what I use it for, the reason I have it is to make your website look more like a real website. You want a real website, right? So if I click preview now, I mean, it looks like a real website, right? I'm not sure if, the, if it's the best web design you ever saw, but it, it, is, it resembles a real website. So special content is just uh, not something that I want to go into now, but it's uh, more content areas that you can have to make it look nicer. FAQ, frequently asked questions. What is SEO? Uh, SEO is link building and content writing and keyword stuffing. So, <clears throat> so what this does is that it actually generates this guy down here. So it's the FAQ widget and also generates the FAQ schema for you. So you don't have to do that. And I also included these fields here so you can keyword stuff. Your FAQ schema, um, if you optimization, Google entities, and so on and so forth. So, I mean, it, then it, it will, this will go into your FAQ schema. So, uh, embeds, let me see here. So the, the keyword is link building training, right? If you, re if you remember what I said in the beginning, the first meta title is special. The reason it's special is because this will be the SEO theme for each page. So the first page will be SEO optimized for this keyword. The second page will be for this keyword and so on and so forth. So if I go to YouTube now and I search for link building training, uh, of course I want a relevant, I want a topically relevant YouTube video. So I click on my own video here and I click a stop. And what I do is I, I just copy the YouTube ID, the video ID copy. Uh, where were we? Embeds. I hope I did it correct. Preview. I did it correct because this is what it looks like. You see here? So actually showing me the video. <clears throat> and the uh, maps, uh, I don't, don't remember, just see here. So this is an example. So we can embed the my maps and show you what this looks like. Uh, okay, so this is called how to make a Twitter moment, but uh, you could also simply embed a map here. No, I'm in maps and I could copy the HTML of this. And then what I could do is I could uh, paste this into Notepad and I could copy the URL here, copy, and go back to to X and preview. I don't know if I did it correctly. Yeah, I did. So <clears throat> probably a little bit better actually. In this case, anyway, because now it's the correct map. It's actually based on the real life Google My Business or Google Business Profile. Um, so let me just use this. So Twitter moments. Uh, unfortunately, I just realized that uh, Twitter canceled the opportunity to embed Twitter moments. I don't think it works anymore. No, nope, doesn't work. So we'll have to uh, remove this field because it simply, simply doesn't work anymore. Uh, as you might know, Twitter closed the opportunity to create Twitter moments. So I'll delete this. So anyway, footer. If I want footer links to my Facebook page, blah, 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 LinkedIn, blah, 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 all of these guys here. So I always, always, always try to, always try to take as many of these guides and insert the links because it makes it look like a real website, right? And also, I mean, if you're building a lot of links and you insert links to your social media profiles, it, they will be powered up. So in turn, when you're building links on your Tumblr profile and you're linking back to your, <clears throat> to your website, these links will also be more powerful, right? So these are links that you can actually put, and I do that for as much as I do remember it. So you can see here, these are down here. 
So I think I am uh, basically I'm basically now done. Uh, and now let me click generate so you can see what happens. So I click generate. Oops. Zero point two seconds it took, and then it's generated a one hundred page website. So uh, let me upload to let me upload to Wasabi. No, I said Wasabi, and I selected Amazon. Now you know. Let me let me upload to Contabo. Because I actually I didn't <coughs> I didn't actually I didn't actually use Contabo a lot. So let me upload to Contabo. So let me select Yespa, Contabo EU. And so I, I can see I select, I, I added two Contabo accounts. And let me make buckets. Link building training at and uh, I think I'm done, so I'm clicking upload. So what the system is doing now is that it's generating this 100 page website. And it's doing all of the interlinking and it's gener generating all of the URLs <clears throat> and all of the image SEO. So uh, it's, it's doing that and it takes, you know, it's generating, the, generating this 100 page website uploading to the cloud and the speed is dependent of, of the um, API, the data connection to, in this case, Contabo. So it usually it takes between 30 to 60 seconds but, seconds, but let me just click pause. All right, so now that it's done, let me click the link here. <coughs> so this is the uh, finished website. So <clears throat> link building training. And uh, this is the homepage, link link training. And let me just check the power here. So the power of this guy is domain authority 30 and page authority 21. And it contains a do follow link somewhere. Link building training. So this is a do follow link to my website. So, uh, and so this is what it looks like. And these are all of the internal links. <clears throat> and all of this is uh, created automatically for you, so you don't have to do anything. And uh, do, 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 do. let me click to here. And you can see here that the About Us page is also auto-generated. So this is the description, the context details that I entered, and the maps that I entered. And uh, the foot of the privacy policy is also auto-generated. So <clears throat> the reason that we the reason that we inserted the privacy policy is because, you know, it's it's to make it look like a real website. And I can also show you the robots.txt. So this is what the robots.txt looks like uh, in my case. And oops, closed it. Let me open it again. And we have the sitemap. XML and we have the feed that XML I think it's called and this feed is what you need when you uh, are going to add your website to Google News because this is one of the uh, things that I'm also using this for is I'm adding them to Google News and the new system looks like this <clears throat> so so yeah this was uh, this was it for my SEO uh, process using using uh, Yax. So actually, I'm actually I'm done now. So so what I will be doing now is I will be going here and I will be downloading the CSV file with all of the URLs because these URLs I will now upload them to the indexing services and um, and the indexing services. Uh, I mean, it, of course, it uh, it's it changes from time to time what works and what does not work, but the indexing service, uh, something like at my URL or Simbyte or whatever it's called, whatever's working now, it's, uh, it changes from time to time. But but that's the la that's the last part of the process. So it's been a long video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, except uh, take care. Have a nice day and I hope to see you in the next one.